Hey, my beautiful Cancer friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. And those of you that are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. So we're going to ask Spirit Guides what message they have for all you beautiful Cancers. All right. Now, this is a general reading, so I do ask that you please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you're looking for a personal reading, my information is in my description box below. All right. Cancers. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a beautiful day here. All right. I'm going to pull some cards and we're going to see what message Spirit Guides have for you today. All right, we're starting off with the Four of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and Five of Pentacles. Okay, so we're going to start with the Four of Wands here. Four of Wands in reversed energy here. Uh, let me just take a peek at what all the cards are so I can kind of grasp the ideas. Four of Wands. So I feel some of you are currently in a place where... Uh, there's some sort of conflict with people around you at this time, okay? I'm not sure what is going on, but um, there's some sort of conflict around you, okay? And this conflict, um, I feel for some of you this could be work-related or at home, and you're not fitting in. I feel like some of you feel that like you're not fitting in where you're at right now, and you're not being appreciated, and you're having this... Uh, lack of self-confidence okay and um, lack of support as well um, I feel that something's kind of happened and this is maybe um, an opinion you might have or something was said um, or just overall things just haven't been working out for you okay I feel for some of you this might be related to um, a home situation okay or maybe you're living with roommates and um, this can also be work-related. Work I feel things are feeling foggy for some of you. And I'm overall, for majority of the signs, feel like there's a lot of fogginess, okay? Um, there's no clarity in um, a situation here for some of you. And I feel that you are feeling that very heavily right now, especially with those around you. And instead of being celebrated or recognized, you're feeling quite the opposite, okay? Okay. And with this energy, it's uh, really taking a toll on your self-confidence. And spirit guides are asking you to focus your attention on um, positive, okay? Whatever this is that's going on right now, know that um, it, it is going to pass. This is only temporary. Um, if it feels to you that this is not going to pass, if there's... Uh, if you're feeling like you're not fitting in and things just aren't working out, maybe now is a good time to think about leaving, okay? And making a change in your life so that you do feel good. Because it's very important, um, Cancer, for you to feel... Um, I, I, because I feel like this is a taking a toll on your self-worth, okay? That is what I'm getting here, overall energy, that... Um, this is really taking uh, a huge hit on your self-confidence level as well. And you shouldn't be put in a position like this and you really need to get out of it, okay? Especially if it's really that bad for some of you, um, you need to get yourself out of a situation or start thinking about making a move, okay? Um, that is what I am getting here with the Four of Wands in reverse. And next we are getting the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so this is a beautiful card. Look at that. So um, I feel for some of you, um, especially if you're living at home and uh, if you're living, living with your parents, um, it, maybe it's time to be independent now, okay? And think about um, building your own life. Uh, without having people telling you what to do, especially if you're at an age where you're a full grown adult and things just aren't working out for you. Um, look at the situation for what it really is. Okay. For some of you, I feel, especially if you're uh, younger, um, and I don't feel like you're younger. I feel like you're somebody who's living in a, in either a group setting or this is, 
there's multiple people in your home or this could be work related if it's work related definitely find something else but i feel like there's there is this need for independence to uh be out on your own okay and to really um come into your own and become that um it's it's all about your self-worth and self-reflection here right now and spirit guides want you to look at where you are in life and where you want to be and to focus your attention there um set yourself some goals um and to move in the direction where you are going to feel good and feel like you're confident in your own skin in your own place in the world right because i feel like that is being hurt right now for some of you um and I do feel the minute you, you make those changes in your life, things are going to work out so, so good. Um, with everything else here, I'm just taking a look here. So my apologies. Um, I'm going to see a lot. Of, I feel that there's going to be a lot of work ahead of you as well, especially if you're um, planning to move out or if you're planning to switch careers or get a different job there's a lot of hard work ahead of you but i feel like you are going to be very successful my, my friends okay i'm seeing success in the cards for you here um so there's prosperity that's going to be gained through all of your hard work and that feeling of being uh, financially independent or just being on your own and becoming your own person without any kind of outside influence or any kind of conflict. I feel like there's a lot of struggle right now, okay? And you need to pull yourself out of this situation because we are also getting the Nine of Swords, okay? I feel a lot of you may be... Um, put in a position where you're feeling depressed okay where you're at right now it's almost it's taking a huge toll on you mentally and uh, for uh, cancers you are very emotional people right you take things uh you don't take things with a grain of salt it's almost kind of like uh pe when people say words to you they mean quite a bit they hit you pretty hard and some of the words that are being said right now to some of you is really hitting you deep in the heart it's almost like stab wounds in your heart and that's kind of what i'm getting and it's it's fogging your mind it's making you feel um low it's almost uh like your self-worth isn't um it's just it's belittling right and um you really need to get yourself out of this situation okay and uh find a better position to be in because um, it, it just seems like you're, you're being hit from every angle here. Okay. There's a couple of hands of, well, three hands here. So I feel like there's multiple people involved here. And I feel like you've been kind of dealing with this for a very long time. And now spirit guides are letting you know, it's time to move on cancer. You need to move on and get out, get yourself out of the situation. Start planning now to make a move, especially if you're living at home with family, if you're living in a group setting, if you're in a job that's not, uh, that has toxic people, I feel like you need to release this toxic energy around you. And the best way to do that is to start planning and thinking about making a move, okay? What is it that you really want in your life, my cancer friends? What are you looking for? What what would you like to do with your life? Where do you see yourself in the next six months? Let's start with six months. If you don't want to do six months, do one month. Where do you see yourself in a month? Where are you currently? Where, where, where are you at? While you're watching this video, look at where you're at. What are you... Are you at work? Are you at home? How are you feeling? How are you feeling at this moment? Right? Um, and where do you want to be? Where do you, how do you want to feel? Right? And to focus your energy there and start making moves toward that. Start taking action steps towards that. Okay? I feel otherwise, it's a long journey of um, unhappiness, okay? And I feel very strongly that this is um, making you feel depressed and anxious, okay? You're in living inside of your head. There's a lot of overthinking. And um, you need to release this energy here, my Cancer friends. You really, truly do. And we are getting the Five of Pentacles. So I feel that some of you may not, you're worried about making this move, okay? with the five of pentacles. 
I'm just gonna move all the cards here so I can see kind of it, it's just overall unhappiness that's what I'm getting here for you that is how you're feeling right now in this moment especially if you're watching and you're resonating with this reading here um, and, and this is a situation that you're going through right now. Spirit guides are trying to connect with you, okay? They're asking that you use your intuition and look for signs from them. So if you're doing something, um, if you're seeing leaves falling outside, that's a sign, okay? If you're seeing animals like squirrels, butterflies, birds, um, repetitive numbers like um, repeating numbers one one ones two two twos dreams here I feel some of you may be having nightmares and these nightmares are um, it's almost like a warning sign you don't want to put yourself in that position and here with the uh, five of Pentacles I do feel that there is that overall worry of oh my gosh where am I gonna go what am I going to, what am I gonna do like how am I gonna make this happen like I'm in a position where maybe you uh, don't have the money to uh, move out. Maybe you're worried about leaving a job because of money. Have a backup plan. Don't just leave without a plan. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying make yourself a plan right now and work towards that plan. But have some sort of a goal for yourself that you can look look forward to. Okay, Um and I feel for you, some of you, this is very temporary. This is the temporary card. So it's a temporary hardship that you're going through right now, okay? And um, maybe in the past, things might have not worked out when you've tried to move forward. But spirit guides want you to know this time it will be different, okay? This time, they want you to really plan things out, really focus your energy. Say, for example... Um, so for myself, when I was living on my own, I've um, when I left home, I always uh, I didn't have enough money to live on my own per se. So I would have to find roommates. Okay, I've seen other people that live with roommates. So maybe finding a place where there's a few people and you're only renting out a room, right? And um, if there's a job. Um, to find a job, maybe learn some new skill sets while you're uh, planning things out. But plan it out. Look at all your different options that are available to you, my friends, because there are ways. You just have to look for them. There is always a way, okay? You just have to look. You have to look at every different scenario. So start planning for that. Start saving for that. Talk to people. See where things are going to make you feel better. Remember, this is only temporary right now, okay? You're not going to be in this forever. So, uh, I'm going to suggest that you start shifting your mindset to something positive. Make some goals for yourself right now. Write them down. If you can today, even if right now you have some time, write down where you see yourself. Okay? And put that somewhere where you can see it. And start taking action steps towards that plan. Okay? Because this time, this is only temporary. All right? My beautiful cancer friends, this is only temporary. Okay? So get that in your mind. This is only temporary. And I keep repeating because I need you to understand that. Okay? You are fully capable of changing your life. You are fully capable of making your dreams come true. You're fully capable of getting yourself out of this. And I want you to try. I really want you to try to do this and see where it takes you. Because I bet you that you will find yourself on a path towards your goals towards that happiness okay so don't ever it's your mindset that needs to change okay because I feel that all of these cards they keep coming back to that same place okay it's you would need to learn to so for every one negative thought the minute you have to come become aware of your thoughts okay so for one negative thought start being aware of your thoughts anytime you get a negative um, thought write it down write it down write things down you know uh, write it down and for any one negative thought write 10 positive thoughts try that and see if it works try different things okay but Right now, I am asking that you really make a, an action plan for yourself and start taking steps in order to push yourself out of this um, negative pattern. Maybe some of you need to look through a different perspective too, right? But whatever is going on, things there's just a lot of conflict um, going on and just 
you're in a position where just there's a lot of disagreements it's this negative energy overall okay i'm feeling like there's this negative energy around you with the people around you that you're surrounded with is what's really truly going on and it just feels like you're always under attack and that is what i'm getting here okay so spirit guides really want you to focus in on your goals where it is that you truly want to be in your life here my friends so that is your reading cancer if it resonates for you please comment below let me know how that goes and um, if you're enjoying this video hit that like button and if you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing other than that i wanted to wish you all beautiful people a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching